Alexa. You are the love of my life, and I am so grateful that God brought us together, not once, but multiple times. He impressed on our hearts that we are meant for each other, and I am so happy to be marrying you today. In biology class at the age of 17, it's safe to say I was not expecting to find the love of my life. Since then, we've been through so much life together and have grown into the perfect people for one another. I still remember the feeling I had when you walked in and sat down on that desk in front of me. The butterflies were something else. My heart was racing and my palms were so sweaty. And the wild thing is that to this day, when you walk into the room, I still get that same feeling. Well, being so brainy, it's only natural that their first date would be an intellectual endeavor, bowling. <laughs> but interesting, no lanes were available, so they took it to the next level and went to Monster Golf <laughs> for some indoor putt-putt. And of course, you follow that kind of spectacular evening and adventure of fun with Dairy Queen. You would have thought after that night, then and there, Ryan and Alexa would be off and running toward an engagement and marriage. But this is a Hallmark movie story. After going different directions after school, they romantically drifted apart. But they reconnected later on in a romantic way after her medical school graduation. COVID happened and Alexa was in Minnesota at Mayo and Ryan was here and they closed down the medical school and she had to drive from Minnesota all the way to Colorado and I was very worried. So then I called this fabulous guy over here. And this is how you know. I said, Ryan, my girl's coming home. It's COVID, I'm worried. He goes, you know what? I'm taking a shower, packing a bag. I'll be there in 30 minutes. When we heard from Alexa about her and Ryan reuniting, we were overjoyed. We knew he was a thoughtful, loyal, and supportive partner. I'm so thankful that God held my heart for you, guided us back together, and chose me for you. I thought that I loved you the first time we were together, and I didn't think this was possible, but I can't even describe how much more in love with you I am today. It's so rare that you get all the loved ones and all the people you like to be together, together really often. And you guys are creating that moment for them that they'll never forget and that it will be really rare going forward. As I am reflecting on our relationship and time together, I'm thinking about all the little moments that make our relationship so special. I'm thinking about how you asked me to prom with that huge marquee sign, and how that was one of the nicest and most thoughtful things that anyone's ever done for me. I'm reminiscing about prom night, how we hadn't started dating yet. There was so much chemistry between us. And I want to it's touch so her. Good too. <laughs> Oh I'm, my gosh, you look amazing too. Thank you, thank you. I haven't looked this good in a while. I know. Right? Yes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> oh, I know, right? No. I don't want to mess up makeup or dress or anything. We're good, we're good. I've already done enough of that. You good? They told me gravity. <laughs> gravity, like, yeah, just go do like Do this, yeah, yeah. and it'll just stay in there. Oh. So you look great. I love you. You love me too? Yeah. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really hard. Mm -hmm. I love your ambition, thoughtfulness, passion, brilliance, supportive nature, and how humble you are, even with so much that you could boast. You are an inspiration to me with your ambition. I have never met another person that is able to do what you do. Very slowly making my way over to you. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi, beautiful. <laughs> How are you? I'm doing great. <laughs> 
How was the morning? Good. <laughs> How about you? Good. Your okay. letter killed me. <laughs> Same. I'm never going to survive this ceremony nope. without crying. <laughs> nope. Neither am I. I'm already getting foggy. I, I was just telling you, man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't wait. Dear Jesus and Heavenly Father above, please be with us as we just get ready to embark on our journey together as husband and wife. No matter what, we will honor, always honor you first and do whatever we can to make sure that we are doing right by you. We know that this was your will. You put everything into our hearts and you impressed upon us that we were meant for each other. I promise to cherish and appreciate everything that you do. I promise to continue pursuing you and growing our relationship every single day. I promise to support you, respect you, and stand by your side. Ryan, it's the best time of the wedding. You may kiss your bride. I first promise I will lead our lives into a life of faith and hope in Jesus. I promise you my deepest love, my fullest devotion, and my complete support. We already had a great feeling about it, but when we finally got to meet Ryan, we knew how perfect they were for each other. We were so excited to see our kind, caring, compassionate, and extremely thoughtful friend meet her match in all of those ways. So Ryan, thank you for making our friends so unbelievably happy. I can't be more thrilled to have Ryan be joining our family. Honestly, he's just such a great role model for me and I couldn't ask for a better addition to our family. Some of our best conversations as friends came from us hanging out, not only in the gym, but afterwards in the hot tub. And earlier today, Ryan gave us some groomsmen gifts, and you said it perfectly, it was hot tub therapy. This is where I began to hear about this perfect girl, a girl that by Ryan's definition was the perfect one, someone who he truly felt completed him and could spend the rest of his life with. So I would like to raise a toast to Ryan and Alexa, who are now beginning their own family. Here's to Alexa and Ryan. Proverbs 18.22 says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing. And I can say for certain, I have findeth a good thing. <laughs> you know how much we love each other. And we will do everything we can to continue to further that love. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.